Guys, this is Mike here. Uh, figured it's been a while since I've done this, so I'll just show you my collection today. Because uh, I know I've done a lot of stunt motions, so you may want to see. I've gotten, I haven't done one of these in about, I'm going to say five years, so just thought you may want to see this. Alright, these here are my late models. I won't name them all, let you figure them out. That's Donna Shots. He was at the Word of Outlaw event at Lawrenceburg. Got that signed by him. Kind of there. This is actually a piece of sheet metal by Dale Jr. It's from that 2006 Martinsville race where he wrecked it and still finished fourth. This is my Dale call. Alright, uh, this is Gary Webb. He's a, he's an old late mile driver. He's still racing today, I think. See here are my sprint cars. Not a whole lot. I just got Jeff Gordon's midget and done his shots. Also signed by him from the Word of Outlaws last year. Shane Stewart and Tony Stewart. And back there it's uh, Steve Kinzer and Kenny Jacobs. Uh, this here's all my Earnhardt stuff. And a Warfighter plane. I picked that up at the uh, Patton Museum. Alright, that's an elite car. You may have seen it from my earlier days. Some Earnhardt stuff. So my Earnhardt 124 skill cars. I've separated my 64th and 124th. Yeah, I don't think you can see it, but this is hold on. But this is the uh, Daytona win from last year. And this is Daytona win from a couple years ago. A couple models my uncle gave me. Really happy about that. And that's his uh, 1999 car, I think. First year when he was part time. Uh, shit, I don't remember this one. Check this one out. Uh, oh, this is his very first NASCAR when he drove for Rainier. All right, now here's just Mystical Aeneas on 64th. I put my Dell Jr. You know, rectangle box cars down here. I I don't really have them in any order. I just kind of, I mean. I started off with down 16, down 15, and that's about it. After that, I just kind of throw them randomly. And this is just all my autograph stuff. Uh, this here's not autographed yet. Uh, it's just a Team Penske card. It's Joey Logano, but I'm going to try and get it signed by both Brad and Joey. I don't know if Joey's coming, but I do think Brad's coming somewhere around here. I'll maybe bring that to Copers too in case he comes anywhere. These are a couple times who are autographs. Brought those to Office Depot when he was signing. It's really cool. I met him again a couple weeks ago at Lawrenceburg before Lord of Outlaws. He was there as an owner. You know, he actually didn't seem like a bad guy. He seemed pretty nice. You know, he took time for fans. I met a few NASCAR drivers there. Um, one was Keith Kane. I actually got to hang out with him up in the grandstand. He's a real nice guy. Uh, it was cool getting to talk racing with him a little bit. He's done talking about five minutes. Alright, this here's some other miscellaneous that cast. Alright, now, this one here is really cool. Uh, it's a Rusty Wallace three car pack. I'll open it up. Alright. Damn. Alright. Yeah. Found this at a collectible store. It was really cool. I'm really glad I was able to pick that up. Pretty good price too. It was ten dollars. So it's about as good a price as you're gonna get it for that. Some other stuff. It's Tony Stewart. That's his rookie car. I was recently at the world's longest yard sale, and this one booth had a bunch of Tony Stewart stuff, all for two dollars. So, all right, here's some other stuff. This here is just a bunch of autograph stuff. It's certainly mine. First part of my head. It's a hat and a couple of small die casts. Big Kyle Larson car. Don't know where I'm going to put that yet. Also met him at Lawrenceburg. Again, real cool guy. Just a couple of whatever you call those. <laughs> Racing champions. David Stremme. Really cool car. Very rare from what I heard. Uh, and back there is just a couple random die casts, not worth pointing out. Smaller ones and 
Dolly Cart there is Jamie McMurray's rookie car. It's Dale Sr. Some more big cars. Alright. I got those at that longest yard sale again too. Some more small ones. That one means a lot to me. Of course. It's a gift then. Yeah, it was I got it the Christmas after he died, so hold on. Let me turn the light so you can see better. I know you can't really see, but hey. Every single car from Days of Thunder. Every single car they used in that. Alright, again, yeah, just some more stuff. Ken Schrader, again, really cool guy. Got to talk with him when he was out Florence last year. Again, yeah, just some miscellaneous smaller ones. Can't really see any of them. Alright. That's my cap. That's my gown from graduation. I got that. Just all my older stuff. <clears throat> got some koozies. Tony Stewart and Dale Jr. Alright. Yeah, just a bunch of random shit. Alright. And here it's just magazines and papers and all that, except for that one box. Just something I picked up at a theme park when I couldn't get anything else. Uh, so yeah, again, just a bunch of other random stuff. There's Alan Kulky car. I regret opening that. Just a few customs in there back when I did those. Alright, hold on. I got a few up on the wall here. Toya, in some pictures, and that's just something my mom made for me. That's my number and number style. If you didn't know, some posters back when they did race day. I got that. Got that. Uh, Far Road magazine. Maybe else some clock. Another gift from my uncle there. Uh. I got this car at a charity thing. It was a Speedway Children's Charity thing. So, I don't know how many of these they make. It looks really rare. So, uh, Davy Allison's light model. And this is just my calendar. So, yeah, I've kind of been getting out of diecast collecting for the most part lately. Just been focused on my career. But, I'm still collect every now and again. All right. This here's Earl Pearson Jr. Sheet Metal. It's off his quarter panel. Really cool car. It was a gift to me from the Hall of Fame. So, this has got a lot of value to me. Alright, I guess that's just about it. Checking out. See you.